last time those two met up it was almost the end of Kong. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most important things to know before watching Godzilla Kong New Empire. Beware of spoilers ahead for the MonsterVerse movies and their spin-off show. This world has more secrets than we could possibly imagine. Number 10, The First Titan War. Long before the events of the MonsterVerse films, Godzilla's ancestors and Kong's ancient family clashed in a war for power. And we believe that they have an ancient rivalry. The myths say that their ancestors fought each other in a great war. In the end, the apes lost to their fierce foes. A few of the defeated Kongs then decided to retreat to Skull Island to stay out of trouble. Although it was believed that only one giant ape existed in modern times, new Empire trailers changed everything. That's not just a signal. That's a call for war. We now know that there are dozens of fearsome giant apes present and ready for battle. If they carry the same bitterness towards Godzilla that Kong's family did, then the scaly kaiju should be prepared to fight an army of enemies. So if they meet again, who bows to who? Is that it? Number 9. The Hollow Earth and How to Reach It We can make the journey to Hollow Earth possible, Dr. Lind, but we need you to lead the mission. If you look deep within the MonsterVerse Earth, you'll find a land full of mythical creatures and massive monsters. Monarch scientists suspect that all the kaiju on the planet are descendants of beings that lived in this titanic ecosystem. In order to reach the Hollow Earth safely, an explorer needs to be inside a vehicle that can handle intense gravitational forces. We're about to be launched a thousand miles in two seconds till gravity inverts itself and spits us into freefall. They also need a kaiju to show them the way. These two restrictions make it so that only people who have wealthy backers and monster friends have a decent chance of getting in and out of the hollow earth in one piece. And even if an explorer has both, they still need to worry about the hungry kaiju that live inside the planet. We're getting some strange radar activity. We're gonna circle back. Number 8. The Mysterious Iwi Survivors you know, Gia's parents were killed on the island. When the storm took over the island, it wiped out the native people. The Kong saved her. The young Gia once lived on Skull Island with an entire community of people. But after terrible storms devastated the island, she was left as the sole survivor of the Iwi tribe. However, it turns out that she might not be the last of this group. Actress Fala Chen is set to play a role titled Iwi Queen in New Empire. In early footage, she is seen standing among a ton of faithful followers. The information and imagery suggests that the Iwi people managed to survive and thrive in secret. I'm Team Kong, I have to say, because, you know, we're the Iwi people from, are from the Hollow Earth. So, Kong. The bias, though. Fans believe that the tribe may have been living far beneath the radar in the Hollow Earth. If this theory is true, Gia may find a sense of family near the core of the Earth. Number 7, a TV original character could appear. What is that? That is our ride. Come on, let's go. During the season 1 finale of Monarch Legacy of Monsters, a group of heroes race to get out of the Hollow Earth as quickly as possible. At one point during the escape, Kurt Russell's Lee Shaw left the safety of his traveling pod to ensure his friends could get home. He unfortunately wasn't able to get back inside of it in time to get back to the surface. Thank you! However, not all hope is lost. Multiple characters have managed to survive in the Hollow Earth without the aid of a kaiju. There's a small chance that while the movie heroes are exploring the region, they'll discover the TV protagonist as well. We'd love to see the worlds of both mediums collide. You did all this? Me? No. I don't understand most of it. But we were lucky someone had already done a lot of the math. Number 6. Anti-Kaiju Tech We've made some minor augmentations. Oh. 
Many MonsterVerse fans were intrigued by Kong's new gauntlet accessory. While wielding this weapon, the big ape is able to punch through buildings and likely monsters with ease. Kong's gauntlet may be the tip of the iceberg when it comes to anti-kaiju tech. We know from Godzilla vs Kong that humans can build mechanical titans capable of fighting the king of the monsters. It's not only Godzilla's equal, but his superior. They've also built missiles powerful enough to injure low-level kaijus. With that in mind, we think that they may have come up with more ways to fight back against Titans in between movies. Incorporating more anti-kaiju tech into the franchise would give the humans more to do than just sit around and wait for the monsters to settle things. Oh, I get it. Well, Serizawa let him fight action. I used to love it when he said that. No, this time we join the fight. Number 5. Godzilla Might Call Some Old Friends Since Kong will be up against a primate army in New Empire, we understand why he'll ask Godzilla for help. Kong, Godzilla, they can feel it too. Something is coming. Something even they're afraid of. But there's a chance that more monsters will join their side. At the end of King of the Monsters, a group of powerful kaiju formally recognize Godzilla as their ruler. During that same film, the Big G made an alliance with the mystical Mothra. Mothra, queen of the monsters. Are you recording this, Stan? A post-credits image revealed that the flying kaiju left an egg behind. It's possible that a new ally could hatch out of it, but even if Mothra's species sits this one out, Godzilla has a legion of loyal monsters to call upon. Every single one of them would be instrumental if the evil apes start another titan war. Good thing he's on our side. For now. Number 4. Kong's Human Alliance The titans were the guardians of nature, and the great apes became the protectors of humanity. Although Godzilla has cooperated with humans in the past, Kong unquestionably has a better relationship with the people of Earth. After becoming close with Jia, he learned sign language so he could better communicate with her. Kong is also willing to lead the way to Hollow Earth whenever Monarch asks for assistance. Just try not to swallow your tongue. What? We've also seen him kill villainous monsters and people to protect specific human allies. Kong's deep connection with humanity has led to scientists building better tools and even entire habitats for his sake. While Kong's relationships were beneficial in the past, they might lead to friction in the future. Any monster that poses a significant threat to the people he cares about will have to face his wrath. I made a promise then and there to protect her. I think that in some way he did the same. Number three, major character returns. We've discovered a signal. <laughs> She can feel it. Years after she helped Kong make a home in the Hollow Earth, Dr. Eileen Andrews will return to give the big ape an assist or two. She will be joined by her adoptive daughter, Gia. The young character mainly contributed to the 2021 film by talking to Kong. However, it appears she'll be able to see visions of the future in the 2024 story. Last but certainly not least, conspiracy theorist Bernie Hayes will make a return. He was initially written off as a joke. However, he gained massive respect after he helped expose Mechagodzilla. It will be fun to see how this unique trio will approach the next monster crisis. Is that a mini Kong? Number 2. Kong's Strengths and Weaknesses One of the great ape's biggest strengths is his ability to pick up new weapons and use them immediately in battle. We were right. Shortly after discovering an axe in the Hollow Earth, Kong was able to use it to absorb energy blasts and deliver devastating blows to his enemies. While his strength, size, and agility give him additional advantages in battle, he's not without his flaws. Kong is notably sensitive to cold. There's no way back for him, and he can't survive here. 
He also has the scars to prove that his skin is far from invulnerable. Unfortunately for Kong, the new villain known as the Scar King has an incredibly sharp weapon and an icy ally. The big ape will have to pull out all the stops and overcome his weaknesses to come out on top. Looks like round two goes to Kong. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Godzilla and Kong's Friendship Status Kong can't stop this on his own. He won't be alone. It's no secret that these two nearly killed each other thanks to a series of misunderstandings in the past. Despite the bad blood between the kaiju, they were able to put their differences aside and work together to dismantle Mechagodzilla. But they didn't go off and make titanic friendship bracelets after the robot fell. At the end of the battle, Kong stared his rival down and laid down his axe. The gesture was enough to convince Godzilla that there was no need for him to attack. Since the two have only agreed to not kill each other, their alliance is extremely fragile and can break down at any moment. It takes a monumental threat to get these old enemies to work together like friends. They don't have to like each other. We just have to work together. What would you like to see in future MonsterVerse films? Shout out your ideas in those comments below. Now I have seen everything. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.